<laughs> Hello, and well met. Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. I would like to see what you have in stock. Is that what you want? Ah, look at how powerful it is now. Like the looks of that one? Done for now. I must take my leave. So long. Fight well, Eivor. Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asked that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It would be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. I found another anomaly. Is that what we're calling them? And another data packet. Should I get it? If it's anything like the last one, absolutely.
You heard. The High Council has stripped the mother of her title, so gift did not tormentor her seventh method of salvation. The seventh method? Is it viable? Why were we not told? I've heard whispers and rumors. It seems the seventh requires a human host. A human host? Do you mean rebirth? As one of them? Yes. But it's a small loss for a greater gain. A risk we must be willing to take. Hey, are you two hearing the same voice as I'm hearing? Not sure what you mean. It's all quiet on our end. Damn it. Well, I'm at the second packet. You ready? I'm ready. data. Here it comes.
It's not in him. It'll be good to see Vili again. Well, well, worthy little yes. silver, I assure you. Right. <gasps> Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Make sure the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingryal looks to finish the job. Off looking for a fight? I should have known. Yes, Vili's sword always finds its way into trouble sooner or later. Not a bad way to live. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Him and Arial is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Come, raise a cup! the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him in Ayal. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. 
To feed us, my family incurred a large work debt. Pigs secured. Protect the convoy. Bag us around. The convoy is laid bare. Picks on the rich. Start the convoy. Convoy remains, Wolfkist. The convoy is unscathed. Heminger Jarl will be pleased. Drop the sail! On with you. Let's put in here. We'll pick up. What do you think you're doing? I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Aye, aye, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stoneberg. Should any picks escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Vili. 
Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts, to feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? You can have your glory, Vili. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? For all times, then. And knew alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! Light the arrows! May they burn with flame unbridled! The pit chief hides behind his men like a cow. I will have his head for him in your yard. Billy and the wolf keep falling by your sides again. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. 
There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Hemminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son. He thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me? Or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to him in our Jarl. Let us not burden ourselves with the Alding choice yet. your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.
Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstic. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. Dragon's tail it was then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? 
Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? Ah! <laughs> Stonebur! Was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go! Clear! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. We'll be safe with him. I have to move fast. She's drawn her last breath. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! Neighbor, you carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. 
Oh, thank thee, all father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doonfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Willy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Heminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Willy wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself.
Shouldn't eat those. Troll magic. <laughs> Need to be careful here. <coughs> <coughs> the Kinder Downfall is beautiful. Now, where is he? happened to Archibald? Aye, the drunken fool. I was there when he lit the thing on fire. We all told him not to, but he did tempt fate. You saw it? Or... Ronan, guide me. You saw it all? Go on, tell us what happened. I miss Wilfred. That's true. A legendary picked warrior who can rip a wolf apart. Do you see? You found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's crackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Lily, you need to face it. Your father is dying. 
When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Vili. Your father expects it. The people of Snottinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Vili. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Himmler Jarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. To that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Heming Ayal. You, chief among them. I beg of you now do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty hair. Boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I, I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud, proud of 
what you will become. No matter, I... Uh, I... Uh, uh. Father. Willy. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's skilled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I'll fly it with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager. Thank you. Are we ready? Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. By your words, good sir, I am far from stung. Not very good. I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. You are not so appealing, and thus I say no. You're brilliant. 
Are you certain I can't convince you to tarry a moment? We uh, could go somewhere and... Um... It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? It's been a true pleasure. You and Firra were in the first time I was Really? I'm not sure. A worthy pyre for him in Rial. His journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drenkor. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, uh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingur Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himinger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. <laughs> <laughs> 